Welcome back. Covering your community next month, the Women in Leadership Awards will recognize and empower the women in our community who are breaking barriers and making a huge difference here in South Florida. Vicki Pugh, the awards luncheon chair, and Jan Cranich from Holy Ground, Palm Beach County are here to tell us more. Perfect timing to mm -hmm. have you ladies here as we continue to celebrate Women's History Month here in March. So Vicki, we'll go ahead and start with you just to tell us a little bit more about the organization. Executive Women of the Palm Beaches exists to empower women to lead and succeed. We are a membership organization and we do that through organizing community events, educational programs, we have a scholarship initiative, um, and we have philanthropy that we do in the community. And Jan, tell us a little bit about Holy Ground. I'd love to. Holy Ground PBC is a, an organization that provides shelter, mentoring, and supportive services to homeless, pregnant, and parenting young women in Palm Beach County who wish to make positive changes in their lives. Ah, oh, great organizations there. So tell us about this luncheon <laughs> and um, how you're going to be honoring the women. Well, it's celebrating the 40th anniversary of Executive Women of the Palm Beaches. So we have an action-packed program. We will be honoring six amazing women from our community with our coveted Women in Leadership Award. We will be announcing a new scholarship that's set up by our event chair, Marty Latour, and her partner, George Elmore, to help young women who are pursuing construction-related mm -hmm. degrees. Yes, love to see <laughs> women in male-dominated yeah. roles, right? Positions, we'll, say roles, positions fields. <laughs> we'll hear from our Quasman grantee, which is Holy Ground. We'll hear from a scholarship recipient, and we have a speaker. Her name is Sylvie Legere. She is the co-founder of the Policy Circle, a national organization that's helping women find their voice in civic and policy discussion. I oh, love to hear that. And tickets are still available if people yes, want to go yes, and, they and participate. Are. EWPB.org. Okay, and the event is on April 19th. Talk to us about these grant programs and just how important they are to both of the organizations. Since 2004, Executive Women has been granting gifts to community organizations through our Quasman grant. And we're just so proud this year that our grantee is Holy Ground, a great organization that really deserves this support and is impacting our community in amazing ways. And Jan, how does that um, you know, contribute back to the community? How does that help oh, Holy Ground? It, it's been wonderful. It goes into our scholarship fund. And the one thing we really believe in is for these women to truly become independent and stable in their lives, they really need more education. So this fund not only provides tuition, but it also provides the other things they need. It might be paying for that exam so they get the national certification so they can really move ahead. So it helps us in so many ways and we are really grateful <laughs> to executive women because we feel that it's a, a, a award that it, that is a very uh, it's important award and uh, it gives us more status too to be recognized by such a wonderful group of women. Ladies, anything else you want to add that I didn't ask you? Since Executive Women has been supporting the, whole, the Quasman Initiative as well as our scholarship program, we've given away over $900,000 in our community and we're eking up to a million. So we're really proud of that support. We really want to be here for women and girls in our community. Um, so thank you all for having us today and also for your wonderful support of our luncheon. So important to have um, the, the, those women role models in our community, mm -hmm. right? So that Absolutely. younger girls can, can look up to them and, and see that, yeah. you know, they can achieve their dreams and they can do anything that they can set their mind to, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Jan, anything you want to add and ask no, you before we go? No, I just, I hope lots of people come yeah. to the luncheon. It's such a, a great organization and uh, we're just so delighted to have been honored this year. And speaking of incredible women, we have to mention that yes. our co-anchor, Erin Guy, who is off enjoying spring break with her family this week will be emceeing the lunch so she will be there as well so um, I know that you guys are all going to be in wonderful company just women coming together uplifting and empowering each other <laughs>